What is up, beautiful people? That I am back once again, once again, recovering from a little bit of a uh, sickness. Uh, throat was bothering me a lot, just very, very raspy, so it was hard for me to record, hard for me to put out content, but we are back, we are staying strong, and we keep pushing on, and we're going to hit you with some more martial arts fails. So in the industry of martial arts, there is a lot of stuff that can be called fluff, will be considered fake, and I'm here to show you guys some of that stuff. But in this particular case, it's a little bit of a mix of just fake and the bad technique. So what you're going to see in this first video before I get it rolling is this team of people, their team. And obviously when you're training martial arts, you're going to be on a team of people it could be hundreds it could be a couple people etc etc your school might actually have a demonstration team that goes out and does stuff and i was on those when i was a kid the blow board breaking demos and they're fun they're cool but <clears throat> these two individuals uh have two problems one is they can't get through the boards because they have bad holders their technique isn't that great and of course when you're aiming to break a board you need to aim in the right spot so they're not hitting the right spots of the board so they're making themselves look extremely bad for the first person she is continuously punching this board to the point where she almost breaks her hand and it doesn't break until she has to switch hands she's trying to kick a board it will not break because she's missing and the holders arms are very very loose they're not able to hold it still and then her uh last attempts finally break through but after all those attempts like you lose the interest of the audience you lose the interest of the judges and it just ends up looking really bad for something that in martial arts as a whole doesn't really matter like board breaking is never going to help you survive in anything i'm just going to be honest with you and then her teammate comes up and proceeds to lay a complete egg but let's just watch her debacle first and then go to the teammate So after her debacle, um, her teammate decides to come and show his skills or lack thereof. So here's the first thing. Number one, I cannot stress this enough. Breaking is nonsense. I'm just going to tell you right now, it's just nonsense. And if you don't know how to throw a kick properly, then you should not be throwing it in competition. Whether that is sparring competition, whether that is breaking competition, even though you shouldn't break. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, because here's why. Especially for spinning techniques, because things can go very badly. Like in this case, he just missed and got very embarrassed. But I've seen people tear their knees uh, who haven't properly learned how to throw spinning techniques and other things in fighting. And it's just bad. Okay, it's like if you... And this is obviously the onus is on your coaches and instructors to make sure that you look proper throwing these techniques. But he clearly does not know how to throw a spin kick. He's just winging his leg and hoping and praying that the board breaks. And it just looks awful. Um, but yeah, that is two cents from me. Please practice it in a way that is very safe so that you can look one, you can look good doing it, but also so you can stay protected and protect your legs because these are your money makers, man. But enjoy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Next up on the low light reel, we have an individual that is putting himself in some form of stance. Um, I'm not sure what style this is from. It looks, I don't know if it's from Kung Fu or whatever. But he gets in his stance and is trying to do something. I'm not quite sure what he's going to try to do this guy. But throws some wild strikes and then ends up getting dumped on his head. Um, for anyone that does train in any whatever style you are training in, there are some things that you need to know. No one's going to let you get into your deep, traditional, huzzah, like you're in your like little, little stance. So if you're a person that does a lot of forms and never fights, this is a, this is a big result of what happens to those people. Not to call you those people, but you're those people that do nothing but do forms, forms, forms. You never fight, you never spar, you never learn how to take a punch, never learn how to get hit, never learn what way to stand in order to get into a into a fist fight, etc., etc. And this dude right here, man, oh my goodness, gets slammed so hard on his head. It is ridiculous. So bringing up the rear, we have a large gentleman who is deciding that he is going to be able to block one person's knife attack with another person's knife two on one. Um, okay. This just makes my head hurt. Look, you're, that's just not going to, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay. People are not just going to stand there with their, with the, with the wobbly knee stance I know you've seen it from Avatar The Last Airbender, the wobbly knee stance, and and just attack you with a knife regularly, especially if there's two people. Especially if there's two people. Like, it's it's not going to end well. Okay, it's just not going to end well. And people are just like, I might just do an entire video on, on knife and gun self-defense fails because it needs to be talked about. And there are some people that are getting paid so much money to teach absolute nonsense. Oh my goodness. Just just watch this. Just watch this and, and come back to see me. Oh, so that does it for another episode of some epic, epic martial arts fails. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I hope that those who are in martial arts don't get discouraged i mean if you see someone teaching this kind of stuff definitely get away but i hope that uh you are enjoying your training if you are in martial arts with some legitimate professionals who know what they're talking about um definitely shout out to everyone shout out to all the people that expose this stuff mcdojo life all those guys over there and uh definitely uh shout out to uh kai's corner production for being so awesome but with that being said, man, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. You can check out our website for all the content we produce. Clicking all those YouTube buttons makes it so you see more content from myself and the other amazing creators at Kai's Corner Productions. All donations help us produce more stuff like that for you. See you guys in the next one. Peace.